Hi, my name is Justin Schaub and I'm the founder and runner engineering team here at Patch My PC. In this video, I'm going to be reviewing how you can change the automatic sync schedule from third-party software update catalogs within SECM from seven days to one day. Now, for example, we look at a custom catalog that we've added like uh, Patch My PC or even a partner catalog like Dell and HP, you can see that there's nowhere within this third-party software update catalogs node or within each individual catalog to actually come in here and change how often it syncs. This is a hard-coded setting where it's only going to sync catalogs every seven days. Now, this can become problematic, especially for catalogs like ours, where we generally do about four to five catalog updates a week. So you may not see the latest updates, or you may try be trying to publish older updates that are going to get a hash error because you haven't synced the latest version of that product because it only syncs every seven days, for example. Now, in the current builds of Config Manager, which is 1902 today, it's the latest current branch build, this setting does exist within the SMS provider, but they just haven't added the UI layer to actually go through and change how often the sync occurs. So in order to do this, it's a little bit more tricky than what you would be typically expecting where you could just change in the UI, but it is possible to do, and we're gonna review exactly how to do that. So on your SMS provider, you're gonna to wanna to open up either WMI Explorer or WebM Test so that you can connect into WMI where this setting actually lives. In my case, I'm gonna open up WMI Explorer. This is a free tool from Microsoft that gives you a nice UI where you can connect in and see different uh, things within WMI like namespaces, classes, instances, and properties. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose to connect to this local machine, which is my provider. I'm then gonna browse out to the SMS namespace and then my actual site code. So it should be site underscore and then your three character site code. From here, we're gonna do a filter within the classes and look for the site control item. So this is going to be all the different values within your site control file that live within WMI. Now within here, we're gonna search for SMS underscore ISV. So this is gonna to correspond to the ISV sync agent component. So this is a component that's gonna live within the um, SMS executive service, and this component actually controls the third-party catalog sync. So if I look at my service manager, for example, from the config manager console, we can see that this is in fact the component that exists. So there's gonna be two different options here. One's going to be the site server option, and one's gonna be the software update point. So we wanna ensure that we're looking at the software update uh, point item for this uh, component within the site control item. So what I'm going to do here is simply uh, double click that one. And we can see that there's different properties that exist within here. The first one is going to be called sync schedule, which it looks like is property three when we're actually looking within here. So if we expand that, the sync schedule is gonna to correspond to any sync for a third party software update at a catalog that you added that's custom. So this would be like a patch my PC catalog, for example. The next item is going to be the partner catalog. So this would be any catalogs that you subscribe to that already existed within the config manager console like Dell or HP. So you can control the sync schedules independently for partner catalogs like these two, or our patch my PC catalog could be configured on a different cadence within these WMI property. All right, so what we're gonna do now, so WMI Explorer is a read-only uh, tool, so we can't actually modify these properties. Now, one thing I do wanna cover is these different values here. This is going to be what tells the catalog how often to sync. Now, these numbers are gonna to correspond to what's called a schedule token within Config Manager, and that's gonna be how uh, things like reoccurring schedules can be created. I'll include this documentation that includes how you can translate uh, into these tokens, but essentially for this demonstration, we're gonna include a value by default that's gonna change it from seven days, and we're gonna use the new value to set it to one day. If you wanna get more values, I'll include the documentation here where you can go create your own schedule tokens. All right, so within WMI Explorer, we're gonna click on launch and then we're gonna click on WebM test. So this is a utility built into Windows that does allow us to go in and change properties within WMI. It's a little bit more complex to use than WMI Explorer where you get a better UI, but this is what we need to actually change values. Now, I do, I'm just doing this using a UI just because I wanna make sure that you guys understand what properties and where we're changing this. This could of course be scripted using something like PowerShell if you prefer to use a method like that. So I, all I did was uh, right click and copy the class that we're in for the site control item and then click on connect. 
Now back in WMI Explorer, I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that we are in fact on the ISV sync agent and we're on the software update point version of that. So uh, I'm gonna then click on the query that we're using within WMI Explorer to get to this specific uh, instance and property. And we're gonna go back into WebM test and choose query and then simply paste that in and click apply. We're then gonna click on that instance that was returned in the query. And this is where we can actually browse in and look at the different properties that correspond to the properties that we're looking at here. So we can see this props value. That's gonna be what we wanna click on within uh, WMI Explorer over here. Now within the props, we're gonna double click on that and choose to view embedded. And that's gonna show us those five different values. So if we remember uh, the fourth value was the sync schedule for custom catalogs, I believe. So here we go, we can see that just says sync schedule. So that's gonna be what we want here. Now, before we change this, I do wanna go ahead and quickly look at the SMS ISV sync agent log. And what we did, we did synchronize our catalog and we can in fact see that after that sync, it was uh, configured to not sync for another seven days. So we can see uh, within the log file that uh, it's only gonna sync every seven days. And we can actually see the log file does correspond and display the sync data that we're seeing within WMI as well, which is gonna correspond to that seven day sync schedule. So going back into WebM test, let's try to figure out where I was. So we're gonna then click on value one. That's gonna be the sync value. And we're gonna change that from the seven day uh, token to a one day token. And I'll include this value within the description as well. And then click save property, click on save object, and then click back over here. And we're gonna do the same for the partner catalog. Now th this is optional. If you wanted your Dell and HP catalog, if you were subscribed, we can also come in and change that fifth uh, property and change the value there as well. So let's copy that, paste it, save property, save object, close, and then save property again, and then save object here. And now what we can see is that after a few seconds of making that change, we can see that that ISV sync agent log file kicked in and said that we now have these new uh, schedules configured for our sync cadence. So in order to get that uh, showing up for our next sync, what we're gonna do, we're gonna go back to our configuration manager service manager. Now you can get to this tool from the monitoring component status, click on start, and then the service manager here. Now what we're going to do is right click that ISV update sync agent, click query. We're then gonna stop the component and then we're gonna start the component. And then looking back in the log file when this started up, we can now see that rather than the catalog for our patch my PC one that we added syncing six days from now, it's now gonna sync within 23 hours, which is about an hour ago when I did my manual synchronization. So now it's gonna start pulling in these catalogs every one day to make sure that you have uh, better metadata that's coming faster. Now, depending on when you're watching this video, you might wanna check your config manager console because I expect that this uh, setting will eventually make it into the console since it's already available within WMI and the provider. They probably just haven't added that component within the UI that actually corresponds to that. So this can be an option where you can change it from seven to one uh, during this current uh, time frame where it doesn't exist in the console, but you might wanna check your console to see if the options available in the future where you may not even have to come through and configure this. I hope this video was helpful and thank you for watching.